hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another fsr 3.1 video so the update for ratchet and clank uh, fsr 3.1 is here uh, i have also updated the game's dlss to the latest 3.7.1.0 and xcss to the version 1.3 so if you don't have those and if you want to uh, update this just download these zips uh, link will be pasted in the description and paste these uh, dlls to the main installation directory of your game which is here where the ratchet and clank uh, rift apart .ex is located uh, you're gonna need to paste these both dlls here so yeah now let's begin the modding first of all we will be needing this zip uh, we're gonna extract it to the desktop after extracting uh, if you open the folder uh, you will able to see all the updates from the base version here uh, some icons are not displaying yeah there we go uh, so for suppose your game version is uh, 1.7.2.8 uh, how you can check the game version you can just simply launch the games launcher and look at the right bottom corner you can see your games version mine is currently totally updated like uh, to the fsr 3.1 update but if you have like a lower version for suppose uh, say if you have 1.7.2.8 so what you need to do is run this update like from 1.7.28 to 1.815 so after that this one then after that this and this so yeah you get the point uh, according to your version update your game one by one by one and so the last one is this version 2.6.1 i'm just gonna show the little bit tutorial here so we're gonna run this then we're gonna click on ok we're gonna click on next and then next again then we're gonna select the games installation folder uh, which is for me here where the riftapart.ex is located where we pasted both those dll files we're going to click on the uh, file browser or the path uh, location here we select all the path then copy it come to the launcher we're going to select the path remove it and then right click and paste now click on next it will tell you to overwrite the file we're going to click yes uh, select the proper repacker for me it is the this one below one then we're going to click next and you can type your custom username if you want one then you can click on next and now when you click on install the update will be installed so yeah after that uh, we're going to go inside the game and also i am aware of the issue that uh, currently the gtx user are facing on uh, ratchet and clank marvel spider-man remastered and marvel spider-man miles morales so yeah these uh, bugs will be fixed very soon by the game developers they will post an update uh, we had chat with the developers and yeah now i'm just gonna jump into the game and i wanna talk about a few things about the performance of fsr 3 in this game so yeah let's go inside the game now this is the new list of prices for offline activated and rental games as you can see on your screen right now feel free to pause the video at any time and select your games then come to discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel or just dm me all right uh, we are back inside the game now i think we are utilizing the xcss along with fsa 3 frame generation yes so uh, first of all i'll just switch to the dlss along with fsa 3 frame generation just to uh, enjoy the game maybe for a few seconds then i have a few things to talk about the fsa 3 versus the xcss uh, 1.3 like which is better and which one you should use so yeah with dlss the game is super stable super crisp no ghosting and no bug or no bugging issue nothing but uh, when i switch the game to the fsr 3 where is it fsr 3 quality uh, i want you to notice few things about this fsr 3 quality like first notice the base fps it's around 80 85 84 uh, yeah around 80 sometimes even dropping to the lower it is like uh, it will go on to the maybe 79 78 also but yeah it's staying around 80 mostly but noticed one thing around ratchet's air like this area uh, when i move uh, around like this you can see a little bit of ghosting effect on these airs uh, i don't know how the video capturing is uh, 
capturing it but uh, i think uh, you can see it a little bit like the ghosting issue near the ears but when i switch to the xcss quality mode same quality mode first notice the fps that it has been boosted a little bit like from from 80 uh, to like uh, 90s uh, yeah it's now around uh, sometimes dropping because i think those fires are coming but yeah it's a uh, little bit better like yeah there uh, like 90 around 90 to 95 not only the fps is a little bit better but also notice the air like this area around that it's uh, head uh, the ghosting has also been uh, reduced a little bit so yeah xss 1.3 is currently now even better than fsr 3.1 uh, fsr has come a long way but they have still a long way to go but uh, yeah uh, meanwhile you can use the xcss quality mode it's better than fsr 3 and if you have an rtx card just use dlss that's like the best in the market nothing can top that as of now so yeah this will be it for this video now i'm gonna play the game maybe for one to two minute around just to show you guys and my maybe switch some upscaler here and there and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers Or at least a very large octopus. Nefarious' ship! We've got to find a way up there! The taxis leaving from that stand are driving right by him. Then we'd better not miss our ride. Hey, uh, when did you build the Dimensionator? I have hobbies, and I know that finding the Lombaxes has always been important to you. I thought perhaps we could go together. Wow, that's really thoughtful. But I mean, why don't we get it back from... Dr. Nefarious bring the resurface after all these years just to try and take over the universe again? Yeah, I kind of wish he was doing a worse job. <laughs> <laughs>